Steps to Christ by Mrs. E. G. White Chapter 1 God's Love for Man Nature and revelation alike testify of God's love. Our Father in heaven is the source of life, of wisdom, and of joy. Look at the wonderful and beautiful things of nature. Think of their marvellous adaptation to the needs and happiness, not only of man, but of all living creatures. The sunshine and the rain that gladden and refresh the earth, the hills and seas and plains, all speak to us of the Creator's love. Chapter 3 Repentance How shall a man be just with God? How shall the sinner be made righteous? It is only through Christ that we can be brought into harmony with God, with holiness. But how are we to come to Christ? Many are asking the same question as did the multitude on the day of Pentecost when, convicted of sin, they cried out, What shall we do? The first word of Peter's answer was, Repent. Chapter 4 Confession He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. The conditions of obtaining mercy of God are simple and just and reasonable. The Lord does not require us to do some grievous thing in order that we may have the forgiveness of sin. We need not make long and wearisome pilgrimages or perform painful penances to commend our souls to the God of heaven or to expiate our transgression. But he that confesseth and forsaketh his sin shall have mercy. Chapter 6 Faith and Acceptance As your conscience has been quickened by the Holy Spirit, you have seen something of the evil of sin, of its power, its guilt, its woe, and you look upon it with abhorrence. You feel that sin has separated you from God, that you are in bondage to the power of evil. The more you struggle to escape, the more you realize your helplessness. Your motives are impure. Your heart is unclean. You see that your life has been filled with selfishness and sin. You long to be forgiven, to be cleansed, to be set free. Harmony with God, likeness to Him. What can you do to obtain it? It is peace that you need. Heaven's forgiveness and peace and love in the soul. Chapter 8 Growing Up into Christ The change of heart by which we become children of God is in the Bible spoken of as birth. Again, it is compared to the germination of the good seed sown by the husbandman. In like manner, those who are just converted to Christ are, as newborn babes, to grow up to the stature of men and women in Christ Jesus. Or, like the good seed sown in the field, they are to grow up and bring forth fruit. Isaiah says that they shall be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. So, from natural life... Illustrations are drawn to help us better to understand the mysterious truths of spiritual life. Not all the wisdom and skill of man can produce life in the smallest object in nature. It is only through the life which God himself has imparted that either plant or animal can live.